Hey, good morning, friends. Mark Holmes here with my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo. And as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, and subscribing to the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, man, we know this doesn't work. And thank you for tuning in to this morning's edition of Don't Sleep on the Dallas Cowboys. Because you literally cannot sleep on the Dallas Cowboys. We know things happen late in the evening, late at night, first thing in the morning. So you want to be up to speed with all that is America's team. And guys, let's get open for business. And I know a lot of people are on the roads today or getting off from work today or working on getting that Thanksgiving dinner. Just be careful out there. Arrive alive because I want to see each and every one of you guys right here. Enjoy Thanksgiving. And hopefully <clears throat> for our Dallas Cowboys, the Washington Redskins will be the turkey. And it's not going to be easy because this is Cowboys Washington. And for the first time in a long time, and I mean a long time, this game means something. This game is for first place and maybe the inside track to the playoffs. Make no mistake, the Washington Redskins are wounded, but forget that. I dare say that Colt McCoy may be a shot in the arm for the Washington Redskins. One of the knocks on Alex Smith is he's not turning over the ball, but he's not challenging downfield. Does that sound familiar to you guys? He's only averaging 6.2 yards per pass attempt. And it may be that Colt McCoy starts trying to launch it down the field and opens up that offense. And, of course, they have Adrian Peterson, which has been the driver of that offense, much the way Zeke Elliott has been for our Cowboys. And they have something to play for. So don't sleep on them. Forget that it's a 7.5-point uh, favor that we are that we're a 7.5-point favor. Forget that we're playing at home. Forget that it's a short week. Forget that they've been injured. This is Redskins Dallas, and this is everything. We may end up getting a few guys back. Taco Charlton was at practice yesterday, which was a walkthrough, was limited, you know, with the shoulder injury, but he may be back. Antoine Woods, he was a full participant on Monday. So we may get some added firepower. But understand that we just played a grueling game on Sunday, just like the Washington Redskins who lost their quarterback. There's not a whole lot of time to heal. You are still feeling the effects of that game on Sunday come tomorrow. The, if there's any advantage, at least the Cowboys sleeping at home tonight and not having to travel makes it a little bit easier. But other than that, dudes, it's on. And we have our injuries too. Uh, so make no mistake, we're not completely healthy. But one thing that Jerry Jones has gone on board saying, and everybody can look at the numbers, and I know... We're going to say the statistics were manipulated because that's now the latest thing that the anti-DAC people will say is that you're manipulating the statistics. Well, okay, whatever. You guys enjoy just being hateful, honorary, whatever people. I'm going to be positive. I'm going to enjoy my life, and I'm not going to waste time with that. But you look at the effect of Amari Cooper and the haters out there saying, well, he only had three catches for 36 yards. Understand, there's a lot of things that happen on the field that you don't see statistics-wise. Understand, because of what Amari Cooper has done thus far, his 14 catches and things in three games, he only had 22 and 6 when he was with the Raiders. Understand, he's opening up things for other people. That's why you see Cole Beasley making plays and Michael Gallup making plays, because now there's a fear factor. You can't just say, we're going to put a guy one-on-one -on, -one on him because we're not worried about him getting down deep. Now you have the safety having to worry about keeping his eyes on him if he does a go route downfield. I've got to cover him, which means he's not going to be in the box. Stopping the run. It's a cause and effect. So you see Michael Gallup, you see the offense producing more, you see Zeke Elliott able to pick up more yards. You see the run pass options begin to open up. And that is the cause of having that guy on there, as opposed to who you had before. Jerry Jones believes that this is the Michael Irvin effect like we had with the triplets. With, um, God, I'm having a brain fart this morning, Emmett Smith. 
I hope that's the effect that we have. I hope that we're going to be talking five, ten years down the road that he's Michael Irvin Esch. That would be fantastic. But now, we got that step up. We got something that gets us back to the way the Cowboys, this old style offense was. You had a great number one wide receiver that stretched the field. You had the great running back, the great offensive line. The thing that's missing right now is the Jay Novacek, the Jason Witten. Those great tight ends, that security blanket, when the play breaks down, when there's a blitz, I know I've got an outlet right there. Golf Swam was coming along and actually having quietly a pretty good season. He was still no Jason Witten. I knew Jason Witten, and you, my friend, Golf Swam, not quite Jason Witten. But he's broken his hand, had surgery, his wrist. So now, my question is, when, oh Lord, will it be Rico's time? Now, I want you guys, as soon as you can finish watching this video, go to Michael Anthony Fitness so you can see this whole video. Because he's gone through, because you know Michael Anthony loves Rico Gathers, okay? Michael has gone through, he's gotten the clips together, he's given you his thoughts and things on the video, on debunking all the stuff, like Okoye does, reasons for not playing Rico, the blocking, the route running, all those things. He's got clips. I'm going to show you uh, one of the highlights here from it, where we're showing him blocking, because some of Zeke Elliott's biggest plays, he was part of, blocking in there. Now, the real reason they don't use Rico Gathers, and it's the same reason why Des Bryant was used the way he was, and part of Des Bryant's situation has to do with that $17 million hit on the cap, but it's because Scott Linehan does not like Rico Gathers. does not like that street, Rico Gathers. And I think that's bullshit. I think it's bullshit. That's right. It's bullshit. Thank you very much, Michael Anthony Fitness, for doing all the, the, the hard work and stuff, finding those clips and things. But here's the thing. I still say you cannot coach size. He's got hands. He can leap. He's taller than most defensive backs. What, my friends, do we have to lose with trying to get him out there? You're golf swam. Well, okay. He's hurt now. Blake Jarwin, I... Dare say I've seen Blake Jarwin make more mistakes than Rico. Am I wrong on that? I think with his size and ability, and I'm not saying that he's ready today, day one, to be Jason Witten. But you look at what he's able to do. You can't tell me that you cannot coach him up for some plays that you know he can do. Like I've said. 
Have him go to the pylon in the corner of the end zone and do a jump ball. He can jump higher than any D-backs that are out there. He's got a big enough body that he can get in the way in a running play. But you can't just put him out there for one or two plays because automatically the defense is going to look and say, oh, well, this is a special play. Make sure you guard that guy. You have to get him out there enough that they start relaxing. When they start relaxing and not thinking about him, that's when you hit them. And if there's any knock that I have with the Dallas Cowboys is they just will not change and try anything new. But guys, this is crunch time. It's six games left to prove that you belong in the playoffs. And if you get there, you can't just pound your way in submission with teams like the Saints and the Rams. You're going to have to keep them guessing as well to be able to make some big plays here and there. And I'm hoping because uh, I hate to tell you, I think Jason Garrett's going to be back next year. I think those two wins on the road were what just cemented Jason Garrett keeping his job. So we got to make the best of what we got. So it should be Rico time. And make sure you check out the full video on Michael Anthony's fitness channel and subscribe to it. He's putting in the work, man. And uh, you know I'm going to continue doing the same thing. I'm Mark Holmes. And I'll see you guys later.